If you're a do-it-yourself electrician and you're capable of doing simple electrical installs around your home and you want to make easy connections, I highly suggest you use the new Wago 221s. I'll put a link in the description below on how to get these on Amazon and I'll show you how to install these and how to strip the wire here in a minute. But there's two types of Wagos I do not recommend. And that's these push types. Uh, you basically just strip your wire, push it in, there's no lever lock at all. Uh, I highly recommend you do not use these at all. Uh, you can pull the wires out of these fairly easily. And this is kind of like a backstabbing an electrical outlet. So if you ever had an electrical outlet like this, uh, short out, fail, or it doesn't quite make a good connection, it's probably because whoever installed it did a backstab on here. And that's one of the worst things you can do with electrical outlets. And these are basically like a backstab device. So don't ever use these. And the original Wagos, they look like this. They have the orange lever lock. I don't recommend using those either. They don't have much clamping force and you can't see the wire inside. I'll show you up close the new Wago 221s. So some of the improvements over the original Wago is that this lever is actually about three times as thick as the original. That's a lot easier to operate. If you look on the back side of the connector, right there is a test port so you can test your voltage. And if you notice, these are clear. So you can actually see when you insert the wire, close the lever, you can see that the wire is inserted all the way through to the back side of the connector. Now here's a close up of the wall nuts. They're the 773-104s. These are the push wire or what we call backstab. Now we don't use these at all. And there's a couple reasons. If they don't have the lever lock, and they're only rated to a 20 amp max circuit. Now the Wago 221s are actually rated to 32 amps. We've tested them to 50 with absolutely no problem. So one detail on these, you need to strip your wire at about 11 millimeters. Make sure you don't strip your wire too long. You can go a little bit short, but not long. Now there's what 11 millimeters looks like. And if you wanted to find an easy way on your wire stripper, if you take a look at these, and I'll measure 11 millimeters, it's right there to that bend in the jaws. So then I can just take my wire, put it to that bend, put my fingernail on there, insert the wire up to my fingernail, and strip the wire off. So as you can see, the wire is stripped perfectly to 11 millimeters. Just make sure, if you don't have anything to measure with, you, know, you don't want to strip the wire back too far. Simply lift up the lever, insert the wire, and you can see right there that it's all the way to the back side. Close the lever, and you're good to go. Although these are much improved over the originals, there's one thing I still don't like, and that's even with 12 gauge wire, the lever's all the way down, insert it all the way, you can still easily spin this connector around on the wire. Now pull out force is much improved over the originals and you can pull this right out of the connector. It does take a lot of force. We did measure at the shop. It takes about 29 foot pounds of torque to pull these out. So in conclusion, these new Wago 221s are much improvement over the original version. Now if you're going to go ahead and put these in your home, you shouldn't have any problem. They're a quick and easy install. Just make sure you don't have any tension on your electrical connections. Hope this video was helpful and informational. Thanks for watching.